So what we're going to do today is we're going to remix by my Mac friends, don't worry, be happy. What we're going to do first is load up Logic. Click on Logic here. Logic's already open, because I can tell that Logic's up on the top left hand corner. What you do is click File, New, Create Empty Project, and Create an Audio Track. What I'm going to do is press Command Tab to go to Binder, Command N. Files will be on your desktop. But right now they're on my hard drive under Don't Worry Be Happy Audio Files. I'm going to drag all these files in into here. And it's going to ask to create new tracks. And what we're going to do is create additional tracks for this. So after this, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this project. I'm going to do File, Save As, Desktop, Don't Worry Be Happy Remix, and click Save. I'm going to do is I'm going to rename these audio tracks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find what each of these audio regions are playing. <laughs> this one's a whistle. I'm going to double click this, rename it to whistle. Next one I'm going to play this track, solo, S to solo. This one's a click track. We need this to find the tempo so we can match it to logic. Next one. Here's a little This one's main vocal line. I'm going to rename this to vocals. I'm going to solo this one. Song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. I'm going to rename this one to backing vocals. Press solo for the next one. And this one's another whistle on top of it too, so we'll name this whistle too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these tracks around. First thing I'm going to do is I'm, putting, I'm going to put the click track right at the very top. So by having this hand and then dragging it up on top. So now we've got the click track above. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to beat map it so I'm going to find what tempo this actual song is. So I'm going to use the click track. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on global tracks. Enable that. Next thing I'm going to do is click on View, Configure Global Tracks, and click on Beat Mapping. Click Done. Once I've done that, I'm going to also, on this window to your left, this is called the Inspector, I'm going to load up a plugin called BPM Counter. This is under Metering, BPM Counter, Stereo. I'm going to press return and play the start of the song and just solo it to find the tempo and this will display the tempo of the song. So I'll let it play for a while, see if the time adjusts and if it doesn't, we'll lock this in at 138. So this looks pretty fine to me. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to zoom in on here, press return, and I'll zoom in by pressing control and cursor keys. I want to line this from here. So basically this will start right on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all these and group these. So when I edit these at the same time, they're all going to be cut. So the way I do this, I'll highlight all of those. I click on group one down here and then click on editing selection and then close this window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in now and zoom as, as far as I can right to where it starts by pressing control and cursor keys. Then I'm going to press this tool, escape, this tool and I cut right on here. And this makes selection right across all the lines. Then I'll highlight this, all these, and press delete. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, press command A, drag this back to the very start. Next thing I'm going to do on here is I'm going to ungroup these again so there's no groups. So that's fine. 
So I want to press start on here. It's going to start on bit one on the click track. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the tempo. I double click this on the counter to 138.1 and I'll change it down here. If I don't change it, this is what it will sound like with a click track on. So it's out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 138.1. So now it should play in time with logic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and have a look at these little points. So on here we can see a thing called beat mapping. And what this does, this allows us to check if it's actually lining up to the grid. You'll notice that this here isn't lined up to this drum beat. So I want to do, I want to do this for every, say, 10 bars. So we can have this pretty accurate. Instead of you doing it to every bar, we'll just do it to every 10 bars. But what I would usually do is do it to every, every bar. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and click and drag it onto here. So I'm going to go to bar 10, I'm going to zoom in. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have this highlighted. So you'll see wherever I have highlighted, it's going to give me little points. Then I'm going to click on here, where it's giving me the suggest point and move it, and click it onto here. So now you'll see all those audio waveforms have been moved. I'm going to go to 20, and do the same for this one. So I want you to do this to most of it. So you can see it, how it slightly is a tiny bit out of time. I want to adjust this up to here. I want to do 30. Looks pretty accurate. I'll we'll just leave the rest. We'll play it near the end to see if it changes. So it slightly changes. So I'm going to change one to say 40. So I want you to do this for every 10 bars on here. So you're highlighting it. If it doesn't give you, so just hit the mark, you just move it across, and that should be fine. The reason why we have this following click track is when we want to do a remix, any loops or anything that we play will match the tempo of a song. So an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a drum loop from the media library, clicking on media in the top right hand corner, and going to loops. So any of these loops, if I picked all drums, I'll pick a... MIDI loop, say this one. Two step thumb beat. If I drag this into here, drag below, so it's a MIDI loop, create a new track. This will follow the actual tempo of the song. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to press L, so this will loop it right across the whole uh, range window. So if I play this, also, even if I want to play this via the keyboard and make my own pattern, it will also record and play this in time if I have a click track. So an example, I'm going to delete this track, I'm going to create a new software instrument track. I'm going to play some drums and I'm, I'm going to be purposely playing these at a time and then correcting it. So on here we've got kick, snare and hi-hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record some drums at a time. So I'm going to press record on here on the transport. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this. Um, I won't use any of this. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to actually draw these in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Media, click on Inspector, and I'm going to zoom in on here. So I'm going to have this as a 4 bar loop. And then I'm going to delete all these. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press escape, the pencil tool, and then draw these in. So I'm going to draw these on kick drum on every beat. So if I leave this, then I'll hi hat on every eighth note instead of me clicking and do this the whole way through on my select pointer. I like all of this. Command C. Press on here. Command V. Command V. And then move it again onto that grid. Command V. Notice how I'm starting on every side of the bar. Command V. Command V. Command V. Then I'll play it. You can hear it. <laughs> So even if I draw in the drums, it'll still play in time with the song. So what I would like you to do is to come up with your own drum pattern for Don't Worry Be Happy and then we'll add additional stuff to how um, basically for you to remix so you can add other um, instruments instead and we can get rid of the main audio tracks on this. That's it, thanks. Bye.